New Age. Perhaps you've heard this term thrown around while adventuring on the internet, but what is it? It is often assumed that New Agers are people who believe in things like chakras or healing crystals and the power of the soul, but it's not. Those ideas can be attributed to the spiritualist movement. Although there's quite a bit of overlap, the two are not one single entity. New Age isn't a religion. It's not a movement. It's not even an ideology. New Age is a mindset. A mindset of what if, therefore, it's possible, therefore, it's likely, therefore, any criticism of any claim that can't be proven wrong, that flies in the face of reality, and is baseless, is just being closed-minded. It is with this mindset that New Agers can have all kinds of beliefs that may or may not contradict one another, disguised as what if while at the same time throwing all critical thinking out the window, because the possibility of this extraordinary idea, claim, or belief gives them a good feeling, and they want it to be true. What if all religions are true? I'll try to pick the good from the bad and dedicate my time to make an hour-long video about how all religions are good because they could be true, and show how anyone who criticizes them are just being closed-minded. What if our entire plan is run by a secret organization that controls everything we do, see, and think, and I just caught on to them? I just cracked the case. I figured everything out. I am ahead of my time. A visionary. A savior. What if CERN opened a portal to another world and we swapped consciousness with another universe? And that's why people are misremembering things. Like whether Nelson Mandela is alive or dead? It can't be because human memory saves important bits and later fills in the gaps to create memories, making it somewhat unreliable. No. We must be on another timeline. Isn't that fun to think about? Wouldn't that be amazing? What if there's an all-powerful god who created us? Wouldn't that be cool? It means we aren't just chains of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen reacting to increased entropy like everything else in the universe. Sitting on a rock orbiting a giant burning cloud of gas, hurtling through an empty vacuum at speeds that we can't even begin to comprehend without any breaks. Huh? You're saying that that's all we are? And there's no evidence to suggest otherwise? Well, <laughs> you're just close-minded. You just hate the possibility that it could be true. You probably had a bad experience and are now taking it out on others. If you were open-minded like me, you'd be open to the possibility. This is the bitter irony of New Age. The very people who profess to be open-minded and willing to accept things are often the first to dismiss anything that may prove this what-if wrong. New Agers are the ones who dismiss counter-evidence to claims because if this what-if is proven to be wrong, then that good feeling they get from asking what-if goes away. A study published in the Journal of Social Neuroscience titled Reward, Salience, and Attention Networks are Activated by Religious Experience in Devout Mormons found that when religious people have religious experiences, the reward centers of their brains become active, and they get a rush similar to that of someone taking heroin or having sex. Perhaps New Agers get a similar high from thinking, what if, and defending that what if from all who criticize it. A New Ager can be religious or non-religious. They can be politically on the right or the left. They can attach any label they want to themselves. A New Ager can even be a self-identifying skeptic or atheist. All it takes to be one is to have a what-if, insert unfalsifiable claim here, mindset, and dismiss all evidence that proves that what-if wrong. But the best way to tell if someone holds this mindset at least in my experience, is if they call people closed-minded for actually asking questions, for following the evidence, and drawing objective conclusions. So as you can see, New Age is absolute bullshit, because the people who use this line of thinking close themselves off to the possibility of this what-if being proven wrong, and because its existence is counter to critical thinking. I challenge you all to call out this mindset wherever and whenever you see it, because this way of thinking is often found at the core of all modern delusions that don't come from cults or organized religion. Keep an eye out for it as you venture out on the internet, because it can be found where you least expect it.